Yo, what is going on, tribe? Happy Halloween to you if you're watching this on Halloween. And uh, happy any other day if you're watching this any other day. Okay, so right now I'm in the woods, as you guys can see. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to build a terrarium from all native materials. So that includes native plants, mosses, rocks, wood, all that stuff. So basically this thing is damn near free for all my frugal folks in the back. But yeah, if you don't know what a terrarium is, then this is a picture of one that I made a couple of weeks ago. And all this material right here, I forged from right inside this woods. So I started this thing, you guys know my drill. If you have any problems, stress, anything at all, weighing you down, stopping you from feeling like your best self in this moment, then I need you guys to go ahead and look at all that stuff. And then give it that for me because, hey, that stuff's beneath us, you feel me? All right, Batman, let's go ahead and, and nature. Can somebody please tell me if this is a, a snake hole? Cause, cause, cause I see them all the time and it's just a matter of time before whatever lives in there just pops up and grabs me and drags me in there with it. Oh. I love this slate rock, but it's kind of too big. So, oh. might be on something jack. I feel like I should also mention that when going out to get your stuff, you should try to get it in the order that you create it. So that means you get the drainage layer, then the soil, then any type of decker that you want in there, then the moss and the plants. You save the plants for last because you don't want them drying out before you get a chance to put them in the soil. You feel me? It just, it just kind of makes sense. Quick, this is just for the people that want to make their own dirt or get their dirt from outside so that it has organisms in it already and it, they'll have it will complete their ecosystem what i do is i'll come over to some leaf litter so to a whole bunch of leaves and then i'll get whatever soil is underneath of those because the leaves have been breaking down and making this soil more rich as long as it's not trash in there and what you're going to get inside of this soil is a bunch of microfauna so you'll get your springtails and isopods and you'll get worms and all types of stuff to help your soil be healthy and to eat anything that may be growing inside of your terrarium. Yo, what is going on tribe? I feel like I should just do a voice memo to kind of make some more sense of this whole video because the structure is a little off. So uh i went to go i had I already had the false bottom already had everything for the false bottom had the soil so now i just kind of needed some decker for the uh terrarium so i got some wood and i really really love this piece of wood right here it, it's already wet i don't normally recommend getting wet pieces of wood but i have a feeling that this one's not gonna have any problem with mold or anything like that it has some beautiful moss growing on there and it just has an interesting shape overall you feel me and then i uh, just needed some rocks for the landscape so i just walked around and found some rocks because that's just they're everywhere and so i just put them in a mason jar took them home washed them off a little bit grabbed some of this moss right here put it in a bio bag a bio bag remember me man get me that sponsor but yeah got the moss put it in a bio bag so it could preserve and then it was time for me to move on to the plants and when it comes to plants for terrariums i love ferns i don't really have a lot of luck with them as house plants but i love them in terrariums and so uh, the ferns that I saw that you guys just saw were way too big clearly so I didn't want to get anything like that so I found this smaller species at another part of the woods so I definitely grabbed me a little piece and just you know see what I could do with that and yeah hope you guys enjoy this voiceover this whole little thing that I put together so far I know it's all over the place like I said but hey it's content Oh look a moth. Oh look a big ass paw print. Oh shit, that's a snake, bruh. That's really a snake. And this is just God's work. God damn. 
Alright, so I'm not 100% sure how I'm about to film this, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. Right here I have the gallon sized mason jar that is going to be our terrarium. And I have a few things laid out. This isn't, this isn't my normal workstation, so I, I kind of feel out of place. And I don't have everything that I need over here, but I'll get it as time. Anyways, these are the rocks that we're going to use for the false bottom. They're just any kind of rocks that you can buy for like your yard or anything at a Home Depot. Super cheap. I wash them off so I can get all of the dust off of them. And then these are the rocks that we found outside that we're going to use for the landscaping. Um, I washed them a little bit. Uh, just the extremely dirty ones, but I kind of like the natural dirty look that they have to them. And then this is the substrate that I'm going to use. I didn't get any dirt from outside this go around because I did that with my last one. And I don't really need two of them to be that bioactive. So this is the soil that we're going to use instead of that. And then for to separate the drainage layer from the soil, you could use a weed barrier that you can get at the dollar store or Home Depot or anywhere or any type of mesh. But I like to use sphagnum moss. And what this does, you guys will see when I'm putting it in, but what this does is just keep most of the soil out of the rocks at the false bottom. So that way that the soil isn't just sitting there getting rotted in the water and going bad and all that. All right, let's go ahead and just start filling this thing up. So first thing we're gonna do is get our rocks that you can get from outside. If you get the rocks from the false bottom from outside, make sure that you wash them off and have them clean because you want the water that sits at the bottom of the terrarium to be as clean as possible. For a generous amount of rocks in there, that's what we got. Next, after you get the drains layer in there, you just wanna make sure that you're putting some Something to separate the soil from the rock. So in my case, I'm using sphagnum moss, but like I said, you could use a weed barrier, anything that just prevent as much soil as you can possibly prevent from dropping down. All right, so we're at the foundation part. After this is just kind of art. Um, you got the rocks at the bottom, the sphagnum moss, and then you got the substrate. Mine has a little bit more sphagnum moss than yours might. That's just what I'm rolling with this go around. So after you have the base and the foundation all set up, then you just kind of move into the art part of it, which I can't really teach you how to do. I, 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 I don't know how I do it. I just zone out and then I look back and I'm like, damn. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and style this. Um, usually it takes me, I have no time limit on how long it takes me because I, I can sit here for over an hour and just play around till I find a design that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of the pieces for the landscape. I have that one piece of wood that I found with moss all over it. I kept that outside because I had stuff living in it. And they don't really need to be inside my house until they're inside this terrarium, you feel me? I'll show you guys what I end up creating as I go along. But I like to put my centerpiece in first because that way I can kind of see what I'm trying to build around. And so I just kind of played around with the placements of the wood. It doesn't look exactly like how it was when I found it, but it doesn't look bad. It looks natural to me. I like to wipe the glass down in between because that way it saves me the amount that I got to do later on. I'm hoping you guys can stop oh, shit. All right, so if you're like me and you have a piece of wood that just keeps like moving around and is not staying in place, then you could take a rock and kind of just... Well, I'll just drop that in there, but now I'm going to place it. Place it in whatever type of design fashion that you may see fit, play around with the placement of it. And that way, it'll hold the sticks in place and you get a little bit of landscaping done. So, this seems like it's working for me. I am holding the camera with my lap to try to show you guys this. Back here, you guys can see I left a lot of room for me to work with so I could plant my plants back here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these bulbs up in there. Could probably cut these back a little bit. Uh, don't wanna damage anything, so you wanna be extremely careful. Sorry, this is really hard with the camera in my lap. Uh, all right, and so you guys can see I left a little bit of the roots uncovered, and what I'm actually gonna do, I'm just gonna get a little bit more soil and just place that on top of there. That way I'm not digging too deep and the plants have a little bit of room to go down if that's what they choose to do. And you guys can see that I'm trying to hold off on watering until the end because I really don't want to have too much moisture in here because once I put the lid on, it'll be its own little ecosystem and it'll have condensation that'll act as rain and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and have this 
piece of grass loop through this thing. I couldn't cut it the way I wanted to because I can't find my scissors at this exact moment. And I want to make sure I film this so I'll just cut it later. Alright, so the ferns that we got from the woods unfortunately didn't do the best on the way home. It, it took me a little bit of minute, time to get out the woods. That's what I'll be trying to tell you guys. Wait till last. Wait till you're about to leave to get the plants. But um, I got this piece of ivy that I am going to give a go and see how this does. I'm gonna kind of lead it that way. All right, so I got this small plant from in between some moss. I'm actually gonna just drop this in there. Uh, I'm hoping I could push it a little bit back so that the leaves. There we go. And just kind of push some soil over the roots. This part kind of takes a little bit of patience and whatnot. So we're finally finishing up here. And honestly, it's just about done because it is going to grow out. The plants will grow out. I'm hoping this ivy does and the grass will take over and the moss will grow up some more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly place a piece of wood, like kind of like naturally place it. So <laughs> it looks like it's supposed to be there. All right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this terrarium build. I just wanna give you guys a good little look at it uh, real quick, the best I can at least, cause it already has some condensation on it for me watering it, but you guys can see the centerpiece in there with the moss growing on it. And I really love this plant that I tucked into the creases right here. I'm excited to see how this grows out. And there's a huge chance I'm probably going to have to prune this to keep it kind of like that. I don't want it to press up against the glass and rot away. And then on this side, I got some rocks and a couple sticks that come around. I got the ivy in the back that kind of is going to hopefully creep around to the front. And then I also planted the grass on this side to overhang the middle of the centerpiece. And you guys can see I just kind of got moss all around the floor of it. So that'll grow like crazy, hopefully. And that is it for real. It's very minimalistic, but I love how natural it looks. I think that it'll add a bunch of natural beauty to any space that it occupies. So I am going to find a home for it. Uh, I might come back and, you know, do some work here and there. I don't really normally come back to my terrariums to add more things. Once I'm finished, I'm finished. But I might come back to do a couple accents. But this is what I'm rocking with right now. Hey, man, like I said, I appreciate you guys for watching this. I apologize if it was a little bit all over the place because I, I really had no idea how I was going to film this because it's such a... I really do normally zone out when I do this. I had to pay attention to this one. That's why I feel like... You know, a little bit disconnected from making this one because I, I didn't get to zone out the way I normally do. But I, I still enjoy it nonetheless. And I also have a launch coming next week. And there's a few pieces on there. Please go follow the Plant Daddy on everything to stay hip on when I do anything in this whole world. Because I'm probably going, you know what I'm saying, document that somewhere. So. Stay tuned if you want any type of terrariums, like any keychain terrariums, any smaller terrariums, any terrariums that are more clean and won't have a whole bunch of foreign insects and other decomposers and stuff in there. If you're interested in that, then go ahead and hit me up. Other than that, I don't really got shit else to say, man. I just want to disinfect my house and disinfect my body. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hey, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. You guys know I love to hear from you guys. I really care. It did. Oh, oh yeah, real quick, one of y'all, one of you guys down below asked me if I could do daily vlogs and I just want to know if there's other people <laughs> that have any interest in seeing me every single day. Let me know what you guys would even want from me every single day. If you guys just want to wake up with me and do five minutes of get right in the morning where, you know, I just give you a little bit of motivation, a little bit of, a little bit of conversation to get the day started, you know. If you want five minutes from me every single morning, then hey, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And shit, man, I might go ahead and make that happen for y'all. Oh right, yeah, man, that's gonna go ahead and conclude this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here because I am dirty. Hey, I love y'all. Peace. Woo! Did that shit.